Is it on? No. Um, <laughs> we probably should put like a warning on this one because we're drinking alcohol. So mm. I'll slap like a tag that says, you know, no under 21 allowed or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kids, do not try this at home. Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Got out with me today. We're not doing anything spicy. Well, I guess this is kind of spicy. Today we're going to be trying the hard Mountain Dews, all kinds of different flavors. Uh, we're starting this in the car. We're not going to finish it in the car because uh, open container in the car is not a great mm -hmm. idea. I've got a clean police record. I'd like to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Also, bonus, I finally have a landscape intro. And i got to remember to look over there in that camera. Why do I always do that? Anyway, thanks, Todd, for the new intro. Let's do the thing. changed locations we are now no longer in my car that's all i'll say um so we aren't exactly sure uh the legality of drinking in your car even if it's in your driveway so if anybody wants to offer us some free legal advice uh free legal advice not about billable hours uh, uh, tell us if we can drink in our car in our driveway or if we can get a ticket yeah like private property yeah in a vehicle that's still i don't know i i googled it couldn't figure it out yeah it probably depends on your state too um, we're in Minnesota, in case you're, I've mentioned it about a thousand times, so I'm not doxing myself. Yeah. Everybody knows it. All we three, all three viewers know that we're in Minnesota. That's right. All right, so anyway, let's get to it. Uh, we have regular Mountain Dew, hard seltzer. Uh, this one is watermelon, Baja, like the old Taco Bell drink, and then black cherry. Um, they're only 5% alcohol, which isn't bad, which means you can drink a lot of these and it won't be terrible. Although... I mean, they, they all say zero sugar, right? Zero sugar. Oh, they are zero sugar. 100, 100 calories. So, yeah, let's give it a shot. Um, Alan, I do have little sheets here. We're going to track um, which ones we like best as we're going oh. along and see if we match at the end. We're going to keep it secret. Okay. Wait, so what are we, are we ranking them like one to ten or just like yeah. one through four? We'll go one to ten. Okay, so one to ten ranking for each one. Got it. Sure. And then that'll kind of naturally lend itself to a one through four because they'll rank okay. themselves. Got it. Based on this. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Because right. you, you could have a tie, technically. Yeah. yeah. Well, and what we could do, and this is totally stealing this from a different web show. We could take our scores, add them together, and then whichever oh, one ends up on top based on our combined score. Yeah. Right. I'm a fan. Like, Mountain Dew is sort of a guilty pleasure of mine. And that was the pop of choice for a long time. I have no idea if these are going to be colored or not, because, again, haven't had them. Oh, yeah. Looks just like Mountain Dew. It looks just like Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Bring that close to this That's all right. All right. <clears throat> yeah, looks like Mountain Dew. Smells an awful lot like Mountain Dew with booze in it. Yeah. All right. Cheers, cheers man. All right. Oh, pinkies up. Hmm. Weird. Very, very sweet. Very Ooh. sweet. Yeah. Did you get a hint of Mountain Dew in there at all? A hint? It, it, it yeah. was not particularly Mountain Dewy. No, it actually tastes a lot like another drink I've had similar to this, but I can't quite place it. Hmm. Didn't taste very alcoholic either. I didn't notice much of that. No. Maybe a slight bit of uh, like a truly-ish sort of aftertaste. Yeah, like a little bit of bitter. Mm -hmm. A little bit of bitter. Hmm. You make the batter better. There we go. All right, let's try the watermelon. Oh, we got to write down the score. But how do we know? How do we know? I know. We have to almost have I know. First. I mean, right? I write down my thoughts on no. that. Well, write down your think. score. One to ten. Okay. Can I change my score after I've had the other three? I suppose. Okay. I'll allow it. Okay. Oh, oh, I dropped my is one <laughs> is one high or one low? You guys are stressing oh, me out. Oh, well, I assume one is low. Yeah. And ten. Oh. Is yeah. Because we're oh, not. Okay. Uh, what? Just like in the Olympics, I you want a 10. I was panicking. All right. Wait, did you use decimal points? Did you I use... did not. Okay, okay no. good. Just check This is straight, just single integers. All right, here we go. This would be the... Did you just say integers? <laughs> <laughs> this would be watermelon. Whole. Inter... Whole integers. Oh. I am not a nerd. I think I've heard the word integer in 15 years. <laughs> cheers. Oh, yeah, cheers. This, this is smells the... smells very watermelon. Watermelon. What? It smells like watermelon pucker. This is an alcohol mix. <laughs> watermelon pucker. <laughs> All right, there we go. 
You're like slamming on your star, man. How can you get the essence? Do the do. <laughs> Sorry, that's intense. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Uh, in comparison to this one, I, I, I won't say anything. I'm interested in what you have to say, but you just don't want to give away your hint. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do these in order on the sheet. Sorry. Oh yeah. That's okay. If you can read my chicken scratch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, here we go. Alright, here we go. This mm -hmm. is the Baja. I would expect this to be blue then, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, very faint kind of. blue. Yeah. You're my boy, Blue! <laughs> Alright. It looks... It looks like there's something wrong with a glass of water, is what it looks like. <laughs> like a little like, clean solvent? <laughs> yeah. like, it's like, no! Oh, toilet bowl? Heading down to the pool at the oh. hotel, gonna get some water to drink. Alright, here we go. Baja. Well, that smells good. Mr. Slam Man. Mmm. Hmm. I'm not sure if the aftertaste is building because I feel like each one, the aftertaste has gotten a little more intense. A little bit. So I'll have to go back to the first one again and try that. That's Baja. That is Baja. Hmm. Alright, final one. Black Cherry. What am I doing? You go there. You come here. It's like that game where you hold the ball into the things. <laughs> Why can't can I think of what that's... That's just called Cups and Balls. Never mind. <laughs> cups and Balls. We're a little giddy because of the conversation prior to this. We were talking about... Costco. Ice, Costco, <laughs> which led to conversations about bananas, ice cream bars, or ice cream cones, and what was the third? Well, hot, hot dogs. dogs. Yeah. Yeah. You can figure it out from there. All right, here we go. Black cherry. Black cherry. Oh, that smells very black cherry. I took a little sip for you. Just for you, Al. I don't want you to... Hey, you know, that's the way to do it. All right. That's a proper way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that aftertaste. You're right. It's building with each one. Whatever that little bit of bitterness is at the end. Alright. All my numbers are right next to each other. You might have pretty darn close as well. Yeah, Alright, so. Um, we'll go like this. Which one did you rate the lowest? Lowest Baja. Interesting. I went with watermelon. Oh. What'd you give it? I gave Baja a three. Okay, I gave I gave Baja a seven. Oh, Interesting. Yep, so okay. a combined score of 10. Yep, yep. So we gave Baja a combined score of 10. What'd you go with next? Uh, second lowest was the black cherry. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I went watermelon. Actually, well, well my, you just said watermelon. Right, sorry, 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 sorry. I've been drinking. Uh, the regular dew, I said, was second oh, worst. Yep. Let's just go like this. All right, regular dew, what'd you give it? A six. I gave it a five. That was my highest rating, though. We're pretty close. Yep. Wow. Jeez, you're tough. Yeah. All right, so you gave it a six, that's yep. an 11. Okay, mm -hmm. and then the uh, watermelon, what'd you give that? I gave that a five. I gave it a four, so yep. that's a nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the black cherry. Black cherry did a four. I gave it an eight. Ooh, you love that one. I really liked it. It tasted to me almost identical to the black cherry. Um... Clearly Canadian. No, well, no. yes, actually, yes. Yes, yes it this is what I'm talking like that. about. Yeah. That's why yeah. I loved it, because that was yeah. my favorite Clearly Canadian yeah. drink, was the black cherry. Yeah. I'm going to say the, uh, is it the Truly, or is it the, um, what's the other common one? Not Truly, but... White Claw. White Claw. <laughs> Thank you for the answer over there. Um, <laughs> it, it tasted too much like that, so it wasn't Mountain Dewy to me. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, All right, so yep. in order of worst to first, uh, we went with Watermelon last with a combined score of nine. Then we went Baja. <laughs> Yours ended up at the bottom, sorry, Al. Um, <laughs> and then we went with the regular Dew, uh, mm -hmm. and then Black Cherry. I think if I had to drink them, like I don't, like one or two most, at most, and I don't think I could do any more, because they're just not. I want to try the regular Dew again, because that had the least amount of aftertaste I felt. Okay. I just want to see if that's true. No, but it's White Claw. <laughs> Yeah, I taste more aftertaste. Yep. It builds. It definitely builds with each one. Mm -hmm. So I'd imagine by the time you got to the bottom of a can of one or two of these, 
you'd be switching to drinking something else. That's what I'd say these are. These are a good introduction to alcohol. No, no, no. <laughs> cut, cut that from I'm going to cut that part out. Uh, no. But <laughs> right, straight face. Um, they're okay. They're like a good, like if somebody's offering you one, if you're at like an outdoor event this summer or something, you're like, yeah, I'll have one. And then that's probably where you're going to want to stop, I'd say. Do they make a non-zero sugar version of these? I don't think so. Okay, so it's all Because that's kind of what the seltzer craze is all about, right? Yeah. Is it's yeah. not, it's fewer calories, lower carb, all that kind of stuff. So you can drink more of them, mm-hmm. even though eh, they're not that great. Yeah, because I'd be really curious what they would taste like without the, because the aftertaste might be just that the whole zero yeah. calorie thing. I don't know. I think it's the alcohol. You're probably right. Yeah. yeah. It's that weird, it's truly has the same problem. Mm-hmm. They all do. It's that weird aftertaste from the seltzers. Yeah. Agreed. All right. All right. You got anything else? That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, I'm glad this wasn't... Oh! I think it's the first kind of of Canadian sounding there. Just glad this is the first thing, the first one we've done where it hasn't been something spicy with me. Is that right? Oh. It's my first non-spicy. I think it might be your first non-spicy thing we've done. Mm -hmm. So, that's much less painful. Well, we'll see how the viewership goes. And if Mm -hmm. there's not enough spice, you're fired. That's true. Alright. Have a great weekend, everybody. Peace. Bonus content! Uh, welcome back for bonus content. We're going to be trying a couple other drinks, and we both made paper airplanes out of our lists. I think mine's going to dominate. I agree. His is going to dominate. <laughs> Go ahead first, Al. Mine is more like design. Yeah, sure, you know, sure. Not for flying. Okay, sure. Just, what, right. just what somebody in an airplane loves to hear. <laughs> hey, this plane was designed. It's just gorgeous. Cool. It's gorgeous. All right, so he's going to fly very well. All right, I'm going to try to get at least to the counter over there. All right, sure. Ready? Right, here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I went to my feet. Did you see that was the worst? That was embarrassing. Uh, That's not Doc's. Let's, let's, let's just keep it here. We just know it's just going to soar forever. All right, Ready? It's right. going to poke some oh, the Oh, yeah. That was amazing. It, and it's all the way to the sink. All right. Um, let's try this. So this has been one of the latest uh, craves going on on the internet. Some people say it's BS. Some people say it works. I've heard it matters. Um... As far as the ratio and how you're going to do this, it's Captain Morgan with Bush Light. I grabbed the I grabbed the big boy. Actually, it says the big one. The big one. Um. Anyway, I don't know what the ratio is supposed to be. I tried to Dude. find it online and like nobody could find it. So we'll just we'll go like that. Oh, like that's shot. huge, darling. It's not huge. It's. A... I want half that. Okay. I don't, can you, I've never taken a shot of Captain Morgan straight. No, it's not a half. No, I wouldn't. Takes, oh, I, that takes me straight back to college. I mean, I like Captain oh, Morgan. Oh, hey, 1999, back in the house. All right. I feel, I don't even smell it. <laughs> Taste <laughs> tests. Yeah, smell it. All right, and I, again, I don't know, so I'm going to do like a. Oh. I don't know if you explained why this is a, a, a craze going on right now. Yeah, what is it supposed to it's taste supposed like? It's supposed to taste like chocolate <coughs> milk, or at least like the aftertaste is supposed to taste like chocolate, which you hate chocolate, so I don't even know why you're doing this. I'm going to be one of the cool kids. I think the only times I've eaten chocolate milk as an adult has been during our spicy food challenges. Okay. Didn't you just eat it and it was bad? Well, Angie was trying to convince me to, to oh. drink that expired chocolate milk. Like, it's right. a little tiny bit. Little All right, milk. Al. This is... I, I have this is gross. Very low expectations for this tasting like this, chocolate. I think this is going to be pretty. Hold on. Yeah, no. Oh, actually, I think I can smell it. What? I can smell it. Wait, it's I smell it. Yeah, I'm talking about right. I do. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Salute. Oh, that oh my God! Yes, I totally taste it. I don't know. Like bitter dark chocolate milk. Yeah, at the very very end, yeah. like a bitter dark chocolate, but not chocolate milk. No. I can. And maybe the ratio was wrong that we used. Smell but... it. Do you think so? Yeah, that's not that's a fan some... though. Not Let's a fan. Let's give the seven year old. No, she kidding. loves chocolate milk. But <laughs> 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 she, did not... she, loves she didn't milk. have any. Yeah, okay. I'd still right. half full. Um, we're gonna do uh, one more test, and then uh, we'll be back right after this. Also, this is probably the point where we should mention. Oh, I'll do it later. <laughs> so I stop now. Sure.